Come see how light and darkness jump for junction. Living in bondage. You know they hard for desperate man to become diabolical. Child! How man go sacrifice his own wife for money? This world is wicked, oh. Now that wickedness will lead person to trouble. Now your wife goes to find you, and <laughs> Living in bondage. Starring Kenneth Okonkwo, Kanayo Kanayo, Bob Manuel, and Ngozi Musu. Producer now Kenneth Nebe and director now Chris Obi Rappu. Now they will cook this sweet story. Marketer and distribution nationwide now Neck Productions. Living in bondage. Grab your copy now. Before it was rebooted in 2019, Living in Bondage was the movie that redefined Nigerian cinema. It was a story of desperation, supernatural cults, and a moral dilemma that came together to make the ultimate cautionary tale. Fast forward to today, home videos hawked from hotspots like Lagos, Abba, and Kano have made Nollywood the second largest producing film industry in the world. The movies and their grainy camera footage, off-key scores, and aggressive marketing introduced a distinct visual style that defined the aesthetics of the 90s and the early 2000s. Today, Nollywood has gone full circle, from tapes played on boxy television screens to big screen cinema releases and back again to even smaller screens. But even with all the upgrades, Nigerians are still nostalgic for that era of Nollywood that gave the industry all its defining quirks. And even though they were criticized as low budget, badly written, and a negative influence to society, they still managed to win over the hearts, eyes, and ears of the entire nation. You're listening to Uncultured, a podcast where we give you short answers to culture's biggest questions, so you don't have to worry about looking uncultured. I'm your host, Bodge, and this is How Nollywood Changed Nigerian Film.